Mr. Investor, welcome back to the channel, guys. I think I found an absolute gem today, baby. So today we're going to be talking about a certain stock. We are going to do a quick run through their presentation. We are going to see who owns them. We're going to look at the markets they're in. And then I want you to drop me some comments and tell me your thoughts on them. Because these guys get hella contracts. So some of you may be wondering, why are we looking at this stock? And the reason is 5G everything is coming. And I was looking for companies that provide services to companies that are involved in 5G. So before we get into this, let me introduce myself. My name is Miguel. I'm a retail investor here in London and I look for the juiciest growth stocks that we can get our hands on, baby. I want a 10x, I want a 20x, 30x my money. This video is not financial advice and it is only for entertainment purposes. And if you want to become one of my true supporters, just click the join button just above my head. It's only 99 cents a month and you help me create great content. But if you're unable to do that, just you clicking like and clicking subscribe on this video means the world to me. Thank you so much for supporting me. I appreciate you. I'd also like to give a big shout out to my boss level investors, JTMG, Joseph, Fred and Blue Sky on Mars. Thank you guys. I love you. Okay, today let's talk about Camtech Limited, ticker symbol on NASDAQ, C-A-M-T. The market cap of this company is just over a billion. They are an Israeli company and they were founded in 1987, baby. So if we take a look at how the stock's been performing, it went up 2% uh, yesterday. Over the last five days, it's gone from 24 to 27. That's a 13% rise. Over the last six months, it's gone from $15 all the way to where it is now, 78% rise. And since the coronavirus hit, they've gone up, boom, ba da boom. 318%. This stock has been going up and down, moving sideways for a long time, but I think now is the era where it's gonna skyrocket. It's their time to shine. So the question is, what do they do? So if we look at their company overview, Camtech is a leading developer and manufacturer of high-end inspection and meteorology equipment for the semiconductor industry. Camtech systems inspect and measure wafers throughout the production process of semiconductor devices. So what is meteorology equipment? Are they studying asteroids? No. So meteorology equipment are machines that use a measuring probe to determine coordinates of points on a workpiece surface. They provide precise measurements of objects for designing, testing, assessment, profiling and reverse engineering of parts. So now they also talk about wafers. In electronics, a wafer is a thin slice of semiconductor, such as a crystalline silicon, used for the fabrication of integrated circuits. And it's also used in photovoltaics to manufacture solar cells. They basically inspect these wafers for the most demanding semiconductor market segments. So they do this for the CMOS image sensors, radio frequency, RF, advanced interconnect packaging, and they basically provide this world-class sales and support system for semiconductor companies around the world. This is across the US, Europe, Japan, China, Hong Kong, Taiwan, Korea, loads of countries. When we say that they provide inspection for the CMOS sensor, it's an electronic chip that converts photons to electrons for digital processing. So they use these sensors inside of digital cameras, digital video cameras, and digital CCTV cameras. So often these will be used in the latest phones because you know we've got loads of these different sensors used in like the latest cameras in an example iPhones and Android phones. So they help in this kind of pre-market phase where they're inspecting the equipment making sure it's up to scratch and it's performing at its optimum ability and there's no defects. So before we get into this juicy presentation I just wanted to show you the institutional ownership. So this ETF consists of all the top Israeli companies and they say that Israel is a world leader in the development of innovative products and services. So so when we crack this open, we can see number eight here, Camtech Limited, C-A-M-T, and they've got $3 million worth. So when we look at Fintel, we can see the institutional ownership is 33.92%. There are 95 different institutional owners. And if we scroll all the way down to the beginning of time when there were dinosaurs, and whilst everyone was exiting here, we can see ARK Invest Management still remained with the stock. And some of these people who are buying into this stock also were Deutsche Bank, JP Morgan, Morgan Stanley, Vanguard Group. And more recently, we can see here that ARK started to add it to his Israel Innovation ETF, as well as a whole load of companies at the end of January and beginning of February opening new positions. So we're going to go into their investors presentation. But before we do, let's also take a look at some of their contracts and also how they've been spending their money. So guys, this is in 2020. Yeah, this is the 7th of December 2020 Camtech Limited. Boom, ba -da boom. And you can see they received a $9 million order from the leading OSAT for the inspection of advanced interconnect packaging. $9 million for inspection. $7 million here, August 
2020 for another inspection system. This one was back in October 2020, 15 million dollars for more inspection, baby. So here let's have a quick glance at the company. So you can see here on the right they've got state-of-the-art technology and they focus predominantly on the semiconductor market. They've tripled their revenues from 2013 to 2019. They've got 49% gross margin in the third quarter of 2020. They're also increasing their revenues. They've got a whole load of cash on hand. They've installed 1,200 systems and they have over 350 employees. So they are the leading provider of high-end inspection and meteorology systems to the semiconductor market. So now this is how they've transformed their business. So predominantly they focused on the fastest growing semiconductor segments. They also sold a PCB business back in 2017 for $35 million and they shut down their inkjet technology activity. So all of this has resulted in rapid sales growth, improved profitability and strong cash generation. Here on the right you can see the difference. Back in 2016 they had $79 million of revenue and their gross margin was 47%. End of year net cash was 20 mil. In 2019 they had $134 million in revenue. The margin was increased from 47 to actually 49% and the end of year net cash they had on hand was $90 million. That is a 70 mil improvement in just three years and they're just getting into the stride now because we've got some emerging markets that are driving their growth. They also state that they're a key part of the industry because inspection and meteorology equipment is a key factor in adopting new technologies and products and to have high yield and stability in production. So if they want to have the best products out there they need to inspect their equipment and make sure there's no defaults. So here they claim they are outperforming the industry. So typically the industry is growing at a small rate. They can see here 1%, 21%, 38%, 23% percent, and they've skyrocketed up to 93% growth. Revenue through the roof baby. <sighs> Ooh, that's hot. Remember, this company has been in the game for 30 years, but they're just starting to break into their stride because of certain markets blooming. So now they have momentum and tailwinds behind them. So we can see here that everything is smart now. We've got smart cars, we have smart houses, we have smart wearables, we've got 5G networks coming to play and the internet of things. Everything is interconnected and this data era is going to be explosive. Previous to that, they've been around since 1987. They had the PC and the internet era, they had the mobile and social media era, but this data era is going to be crazy and they are a key part of it this is everything that they'll be working on in terms of inspection they'll be inspecting you know power and radio frequency they're going to be doing all the imaging sensors in cameras they'll be looking at memory as well and advanced packaging in phones so for businesses to really scale up and take advantage of all of this kind of 5g networks coming into play and smart devices they're having challenges in wafer manufacturing and you can see here that critical defects can arise at any part of the wafer manufacturing process right and a single critical default can cause device failure. So when they're inspecting, these are their customers requirements here on the left, you can see that they require zero critical defects, high performance, high yield and high throughput. And the way they're solving the problem is by doing high levels of inspection required to solve the challenges. For a lot of businesses and companies, if you send a product out there and it's defective, it could be business suicide. We've all seen what happened with Cyberpunk. So many glitches, not good enough and a lot of backlash. So this could potentially ruin a brand. So they have to make sure that they have inspection processes throughout the way and they have to make sure that their product is elite top of the range. Yeah. Now we've got advanced packaging market drivers. You can see here all of these are going to drive the market that they're in and now I'm really interested in these two markets. Smartphone sales representing a large volume and also connectivity trends. So we're talking about the internet of things. There's going to be more sensors than ever. We're going to have 5G. We're going to have new radio frequency module designs. So I've been trying to dig deep on this company and see about contracts and who their clients are and I think they may have huge clients but they're very very secretive about who they work with and I think this is because competition will come in and try and sweet talk their clients and customers. Like when I was a kid, I used to sweet talk the dinner lady and tell her, hey baby, you look fine. Give me some more dessert, baby. Yep, six year old hustling. So I think this is a big clue about who they're working with. So they put up an iPhone here, right? They've shown uh, throughout time the number of advanced packaging growing in smartphones. So they said two, four, seven, all the way up to the iPhone 11 Pro Max. They've got 89 number of packages here. And who does Apple work with to build out these iPhones and their semiconductor supply? Player. Introducing this large company, this is Taiwan Semiconductor Manufacturing Company, ticker symbol TSM. And as we can see here on the left, the market cap is $580 billion. And here in yellow on my left, among many others, the company designs and manufactures chips for Apple, for whom TSMC is the only company to make A-series chips for. In fact, Apple is TSMC's largest client, accounting for one-fifth of their revenue. That revenue exceeded $35.8 billion in 2019. And now in this slide where they're talking 
discussion about why Camtech will outperform the industry. They're saying that the majority of semiconductor manufacturing occurs in Asia and they have a strong history and presence in Asia. So with some companies making upwards of $35.8 billion from one client alone like Apple and TSM, what if these guys get contracts just to inspect sensors on iPhones? Companies are willing to spend big money on inspection because if you release one faulty product and you have to take back all of those products and fix them all, it's going to take you ages. It's going to be a waste of time, waste of money and your competition can then consume and sell to your customer base. So we're going to have a lot of growth in these markets. You can see here 5G, there's going to be demand for new phones. There's going to be growth in demand for radio frequency. We're going to have growth in advanced packaging and also the image sensors within cameras. Here on the right, as you can see here, the smartphone semiconductor revenue. They're saying worldwide smartphone forecast. A lot of these will be in gray here. In gray is 5G. So they're saying a lot of them will be 5G integrated. Not only that, but they're saying that the number of cameras in smartphones is increasing. So they're having a smaller pixel size requiring new equipment. So this makes up over 30% of Camtech's business in 2020. And here on the right, we can see that they said it will be record breaking year after year after 2021. So you see 2021, the shipments are going to be in the billions as well as the revenue. So Camtech believes they're really going to win because they focus on technology and they want to continue to innovate. They've got over 100 patents here and they're among the best in-class software and algorithms available to the market today. Not only that, but they're customer centric. So they put the customer at the heart of everything they do in order to retain that customer. So they're highly responsive to the customer's needs and they can make everything specifically built for each client. Not only that, but they make sure they hold on and they retain customers by having a deep customer relationship. And they've installed over 1,200 systems for over 100 customers around the world. And some of these are major semiconductor manufacturers. So with contract after contract after contract, we can see exactly why ARC opened a position at $23.78 on the 21st of January. This is in the ARC Israel ETF and they've been adding bit by bit throughout the last few weeks. So Camtech loves to keep clients secretive. Camtech is constantly receiving orders from new and old clients, several inspection and meteorology systems. And in terms of the semiconductor market size, it's saying that in 2019, it was 513 billion. Now they're stating it's going to be $726 billion by 2027. And what I really like to see here is when companies decide to put their money where their mouth is. And as you can see above me, these guys are continually reinvesting their cash flow back into their business. According to the last quarter, their total assets was $200 million and their total liabilities was only 46.9. And as we can see just recently, analysts are stick to their buy rating for Camtech. So they've been giving them a target price of around $26 and Needham is saying bye bye bye. They're also predicting that the semiconductor inspection equipment market is going to enjoy explosive growth by 2025. And when they're talking about key players, you know who they talk about. There we are, baby, Camtech. And the reason for the explosive growth is because of the emerging markets. You can see there's an increase in consumption of consumer electronic devices across the globe. Additionally, there's an emergence of AI, artificial intelligence, Internet of Things, IoT, and machine learning, ML. And this company has a track record of growth and profitability. We can see here from 2016 to 2019, compounded annual growth rate of 19%. Their operating income and margins have increased as well. And their earnings per share has increased by 118% here on the right. They've also reported some strong quarterly performances apart from that first quarter when C19 first hit. So we can see their revenue was up, their operating margins were up, their gross margins were also up and their earnings per share. So over the last five years, they've gone from a $1.82 stock all the way up to $27.14. So that's a 14x baby. So let me know your thoughts. Do you think there's going to be explosive growth for companies like this since they're going to be working with and inspecting a lot of semiconductor companies that are going to experience crazy growth from the new electronic revolution? Hit me up in the comments below. Let me know your thoughts and feelings. Have you seen this company? Has it even come across your mind? Is it on your radar? Have you already bought shares? If you are, tell me what price you've got in. I think this company over time can 10x. And remember, this is not financial advice. It's for entertainment only. But I believe in this company and I think it can do really well. I think I spotted a gem here. And if you like videos like this, just click the join button. Support me. It's only 99 cents a month. But if you're unable to support me, I completely understand. And I love you guys. Just you clicking like and clicking subscribe on this video means the world to me. Mr. Investor over and out, baby.